Hope you all are watching my first video related with linear parallel and opposite angles. Now we are moving on to the activity based questions. Here first activity. Here you can see D, B, D A, C and angle C, A, B. Our question is find out the measurement of all the angles from the figure. See here the measurement we know that the representation of angle is here. Angle D A C equal to 40 degree and another angle we can see here angle C A B that is equal to 60 degree. One more angle is here that is angle D A B equal to 40 plus 60 that is 100. Now we can move on to the next activity. Here also we have to find out all the measurements from the figure. So clearly you can see here angle C A B that is equal to 45 degree. And we can write it here angle C A B equal to 45 degree. Then another angle here it is showing angle D A B. Here the indicator you can see from here to here. So angle D A B equal to 120 degree. Here one more question is here angle what is the angle measurement of angle D A C angle D A C how we can calculate the measurement of angle D A C the entire angle is 120 and this portion is 45 degree so we can subtract 45 from 120 we will get this measurement angle D A C is measurements so angle D A C equal to 120 degree minus 45 degree 75 degree we can move on to the next activity here also we have to find out the angle measurements here one specialty is here in this figure we can see the line C A and line A B are perpendicular we already discussed about the angle between the perpendicular line that is 90 degree so the angle C A B equal to 90 degree angle C A B equal to 90 degree and here it is already written here and the angle of uh, D A B angle D A B equal to 50 degree then one more angle is here we have to find out angle C A D the entire angle is 90 degree this portion is 50 degree so we can subtract 50 from 90 then we will get the measurement of angle C A D that is angle C A D equal to 90 degree minus 50 that is equal to 40 degree In this activity you can see here angle DCB equal to 60 degree angle DCB equal to 60 degree and the line EC and line CB are perpendicular so the angle between the two perpendicular line is always 90 degree we already discussed about that so angle ECB equal to angle ECB equal to 90 degree now we have to find out the angle measurement of angle ECB how we can find out the entire angle that is ECB is 90 degree the entire angle is 90 degree and this portion is 60 degree so we can right now we can find out the angle measurement of ECD subtract 60 from 90 then we will get the angle measurement of angle ECD that is 90 minus 60 degree that is equal to 30 degree now you can see here this is an L shaped one and the lines are perpendicular so here the angle measurement is 90 degree in this activity you can see here we have two angles and they are given one angle so these two angles are adjacent we already discussed the sum of adjacent angles are 180 degree so here it is one angle is 50 degree another one is 180 minus 50 degree that is 130 degree in this activity we have to find out the measurement of angle ACE before before finding out the measurement of angle ACE we have to find out the measurement of angle ECB angle ECB equal to we can add the measurement of angle angle ECD and angle DCB that is 50 plus 25 degree that is equal to 75 sorry 75 degree now 
you can see that angle ACE and angle ECB are linear pairs. So we can find out the measurement of angle ACE. How we can subtract 75 from 180. Then we will, we will get the measurement of angle ACE. That is angle ACE equals 180 degree minus 75 degree that is equal to 135 degree. In this activity, only one angle is given, that is angle ABD equal to 120 degree. That is angle ABD equal to 120 degree. You have to find out one, two, three angles here. How we can find out? We already studied that the near the sum of nearby angle is 180 degree. So if it is this angle is 120 degree, the nearby angle of angle DBC equal to 180 minus 120. Angle DBC equal 180 degree minus 120 that is equal to 60 degree. Here we got 60 degree. And one more thing we studied, opposite angles are always equal. So this angle and this angle are opposite. If this angle is 60 degree, then this angle also 60 degree. If this angle is 120 degree, the opposite of angle ABD is angle FBC. So these angles are opposite. So, so here also 120 degree. Here, you can see only two angles are given, that is angle EBD and angle FBG. And you can see angle ABE and angle EBD are nearby angles. So these two angles are linear pairs. So angle, measurement of angle AB, how we can find out angle AB equal, we can subtract 50 from 180 because these two angles are nearby, these two angles are linear pairs. So 180 degree minus 50 degree that is 130 degree. We got the angle 130 degree here. Now you can see these two angles are opposite, angle EBD and angle ABF are opposite. Opposite angles are equal, we already studied that. So angle ABF equal to 50 degree. Now we have to find out one more angle, angle GBD. But here you can see one, two, three angles. So we have to add these two angles first. That is angle ABF and angle FBG we have to add. Then we will get the measurement of angle ABG. ABG equals 50 plus 70 degree. That is 120 degree. Now you can see this angle and this angle, angle ABG and angle GBD are linear pairs and they are nearby angle. So you can find out the measurement of angle GBD. Sorry, GBD. Now we can find out, we can subtract 120 from 180. That is 180 degree minus 120 degree. That is equal to 60 degree. 